Welcome to the Swedish winter. It's pretty cold. It was minus 18 this morning. Not a very pleasant feeling. It's so cold that our well pump froze the other day. It was a lot of fun. But anyway, this uh, video is going to be about renovating the workshop. I guess the microphone also froze to death right there. But I was just talking about how this past year we've been making an effort in fixing up this old building that is on our property and turning it into a woodworking shop. And we've come a long way and it's actually functional right now, except for the cold. Yeah, this place looks like crap. <laughs> and there's pretty obvious there's been a leak here sometime. It's looking pretty dry right now. So when I moved in here, it was gross to say the least. <laughs> All the trusses were covered in some type of thin uh, insulated board of some kind and it was just full of rat poop and uh, hornet's nests and all kinds of nasty things. But behind all that, I, there, there's some potential here. Not a single truss is resting on a post. It has completely sheared this uh, steel C-channel. The majority of the work is going to be the roof, the ceiling. I don't want to get into too much detail about all this because it's, it's pretty straightforward. Thickening up all the old trusses and also placing new trusses in between each truss. Basically, it's cold and it's always cold in Sweden. Here we can see the south facing gable of the workshop and of course it made all the sense in the world to put three big windows over there so that we get the most possible sunlight in the workshop. And it looks absolutely horrible at the moment but we're definitely gonna be putting some new um, exterior whatever it's called. After moving out of the old two car garage I moved into this workshop and it was a good workshop, there's no doubt about that, but I had to make a 20 minute drive there each day, and which isn't bad. And the rent, uh, it was also fair, but as I was just starting up my business, money was not something that I had in excess. So if you compare renting uh, versus buying some kind of a crappy old place like this and fixing it up, in my case, over those two and a half years that I was uh, renting my workshop, I was probably paying, yeah, way more in just rent than I am, that, that I have been up till this point and beyond, I should say, uh, getting this place fixed up. Definitely worth it. I would, I would make that trade any day of the week because I also get to work from home. And that's kind of the, the main purpose behind all this. By early summer I was up and running again. The workshop is far from finished, but my goal was to get most of the grunt work done and then dive right into woodworking again.
I can't really say exactly when this happened, but it was in my early 20s when something just clicked in me. And all of a sudden, I knew what I wanted to do with my life. I have been working tirelessly since then. Sometimes I would pause and really try and think about the end goal. And I don't see it as sacrifice. But I sure have spent way more time doing this than I probably should have. And up until fairly recently, I would not have been able to answer the question of why. But that's all becoming very clear right now. I've had this dream since for six or seven years, since we sold our old house, that I, I wanted to work from home. And I feel like this could be it. So I guess we'll see how things turn out.